Terraform Labs caught moving $4.8 million through shell company Do Kwan may have just been caught laundering money through Terraform Labs into a Korean shell company called Colonel Labs appears that Do Kwan may be in for more legal trouble as allegations arise accusing him of further financial crimes. Fatmentera, who seemingly never sleeps, has released information tying Do Kwan to a blockchain consultancy firm Colonel Labs. Money has allegedly been Korean news site also reported on the news stating, National Tax Service was caught by the fact that last year, Terra received a virtual currency worth about 6 billion won from Terra. Duquan was fined last year for tax evasion and ordered to pay 100 billion won $80 million in taxes. The amount is expected to rise over time as only realized gains are taxed for cryptocurrency in South Korea. The new allegations suggest that this is not the only crime for which he is now being investigated. Terra's legal woes given the increasing number of legal battles on the horizon for Terraform Labs and Duquan, it is even more disconcerting that the entire Terraform Labs legal team reportedly resigned in a mass walkout last week. The latest allegations suggest that Terraform Labs' sister company, Colonel Labs, received 6 billion won $4.8 million from Terraform Labs. While this could be a completely innocent transaction for consulting services, the recent actions of Duquan to remove any association of himself to Colonel Labs makes the transaction appear suspicious. The Korean news outlet KBS used a pseudonym for Colonel Labs, calling it, Company K. However, there are references to Colonel Labs several times alongside Terraform Labs, suggesting it is the company in question. The official identity of the company, as reported by KBS, cannot be confirmed at this time, but Colonel Labs will be cited according to the allegations of our sources. Further, there is evidence linking Duquan to Colonel Labs through patents filed by the company. In addition, KBS reported the news in the following manner, this is a blockchain consulting firm K in Sung Sudong, Seoul, the office with the lab sign is full of computers, Company K and Duquan it may be reasonable to assume that KBS was attempting to leak the name without saying it outright, consulting firm K, office with the lab sign. Further, Duquan amended the original Luna revival plan to remove reference to Colonel Labs in a highly suspicious move. A section that identified roles and responsibilities for the new Luna blockchain contained a reference to TFL Colonel Labs, but has since been amended to remove the reference to Colonel Labs. Image 1 below is a cached version of the original proposal quoted in a user's comment. Image 2 is the revised proposal as it currently reads. Proposal Kernel Image 1 Source, TerraStation Revised Proposal Image 2 Source, TerraStation According to KBS, Terra and Kernel Labs appeared indistinguishable to locals, reporting, employees in a nearby office also say they looked like the same company as Terra. KBS also reported that they attempted to speak directly with several members of Terraform Labs, OK Lunatics family Duquan is in more trouble. The Terraform Labs was caught trying to remove 4.8 million. Like I said last week Duquan needs to step aside because he is going to mess it up for us. Every day they find something suspicious about Duquan. Yes the Terra Luna has a great community behind it, but the fact that we the lunatics can't trust Duquan that's where the problems start. Let's me know what you think about the whole thing. Like share and subscribe and leave a comment.